about four famous Nigerians have rejected the Nigerian National Award in the past. One of them is Professor Chinua Achebe, the author of the book, Things Fall Apart. Chinua Achebe was selected for the National Award firstly in 2004, during the administration of Chief Ulichegu Nobasanjo. He rejected the offer of the award, saying, 43 years ago, at the first anniversary of Nigeria's independence, I was given the first Nigerian National Trophy or recreation. In 1979, I received two further honors, and in 1999, the first National Creativity Award. I accepted these honors, fully aware that Nigeria was not perfect. But I had a strong belief that we would outgrow our shortcomings under leaders committed to uniting our diverse people. Nigeria's condition today, under your watch, is, however, too dangerous for silence. I must register my disappointment and protest by declining to accept the high honor awarded me in the 2004 honors list. In 2011, again, the then president of Nigeria, Goodluck Jonathan, shortlisted Achebe's name for national awards too. He rejected the offer once again. He said, and I quote, The reason for rejecting the offer when it was first made have not been addressed, let alone solved. It is inappropriate to offer it again to me. Before then, Achebe had shown his disapproval of the Nigerian situation through articles, books, and interviews. In an interview, he noted that the poor have little or nothing to be proud of since independence. We have to save ourselves, save our people, especially the poor people who have got nothing. Nothing. So some of us have, especially those who went to school, have got at least a little bit of something. But there are people in this country of ours who have nothing that they can say, this is what independence gave me to. And uh, it's not right. In 2008, Chief Gani Fayemi, the famous Nigerian activist and lawyer, was selected for national honors. His words were clear about how Nigeria has failed her citizens. He said, I thank the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Al Haji Umar Musa Radua. I thank the Federal Government of Nigeria, and I am grateful for the Council of State which approved the honor of the Officer of the Federal Republic, OFR, given to me by the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Today, I am 70 years and 8 months old. I am struck down by lung cancer, for which I have been receiving medical treatment outside my country. Because my country, Nigeria, has one of the poorest medical services in the world, but one of the richest countries in the world in terms of oil revenue, he said. He went ahead to state his rejection of the honor through these words. A government that covertly and overtly encourages corruption has no honor in its arsenal of power to dispense honor. Consequently, I reject the dishonor of the officer of the Order of the Federal Republic, OFR. Just like Achebe, Shivgani Fayemi had always demonstrated his anger on the condition of Nigeria. This was his submission during a presidential debate where he contested for the president of Nigeria in 2003. Thank you very much. I want a country where the people have a place. I want a country where the masses who have been subjected to much poverty, deprivation, starvation, have a place. I don't want to be in a country where God has created the world for everybody. And yet, those who are governing us ignore, oppress, cheat, isolate the poverty of our people. No, that's not the country I dream for. And that's why I'm in this position today, that I want to take the power from them so that the masses of our people do not suffer again from lack of employment, from lack of food, from lack of housing, from lack of jobs, from lack of water, from lack of electricity, and a country that I want to establish free of corruption and starvation, free of all this dictatorship that we have been encountering over the years. I want to create a country where I want to establish a country, a governance where there should be what we call the best for all, not the best for a few and the worst for the majority. I don't accept that. Just recently, on October 11, 2022, the famous Nigerian writer Chimamanda Adichie was to be conferred with the award 
order of the Federal Republic, OFA. She stylishly rejected the award. Adichie did not openly announce her rejection of the honor, but avoided going for the event and collecting the award. According to Chimamanda Adichie's communications manager, Omaomi Obe, who answered the question on if Adichie accepted or rejected the award, she said, and I quote, The author did not accept the award, and as such, did not attend the ceremony. She, however, did not want to create undue publicity around it, so her non-acceptance was conferred privately. Another notable Nigerian who had rejected the national honor is Professor Wole Shoyinka. Although I may say that his rejection of the award was conditional, he did not outrightly reject the award, but was not happy to be receiving an award at the same event where General Sani Abacha is also to be honored posthumously. In his words, after he was shortlisted for the award in 2014, Shoyinka threw a report he titled The Canonization of Terror, briefly stated his reluctance to share the award with Abacha, whom he described in that report as a murderer and thief of no redeeming quality. Remember that this Nigerian National Honours is a set of decorations awarded to outstanding Nigerians. The granting of this award began just four years after independence, during the First Republic in Nigeria. It was established by the National Honours Act No. 5 of 1964. The main agenda of this program is to honour Nigerians who have been of great service to the country and have yielded benefits to the nation. Such benefits to the country is when an individual has done something exceptionally good for the nation, which makes the country proud. But it is unfortunate that every Dick and Harry has a national award in Nigeria, even those who have pending corruption cases. As we hope that this award be granted to those who deserve it, we also hope that this country called Nigeria gets a good leader someday. Thank you for your time. I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to follow, like this video, and subscribe. Thank you.